Again, welcome. We are so glad that you are here this evening for the Academy of Finance Open House for the upcoming school year. We appreciate you joining us in this online open house. I do want to just make you all aware that this is being recorded and live streamed on YouTube. So um, everything is being recorded. Also, if you see things tonight that make you say you should let your friends know about this fabulous program, you can redirect them to the Alachua County Public Schools YouTube page and they'll be able to watch this after the fact. So it's not just for this evening at 6.30, you can also come back to the YouTube page and watch it there. I do want to just set the stage for you for tonight, give you a little bit of an agenda for what we're going to be doing. So first you're going to hear from the staff at Buholtz, Ms. Brothers and the team at Buholtz with the Academy of Finance. They're gonna give you a lot of information about their program. Following their program and talking about the program, I will then move to talking about the application process. So you're gonna hear all about how to apply toward the end of the evening. I do also want to call your attention that the chat feature is disabled in this mode that we're using tonight, but there is a Q&A or question and answer session or section that you can use to type questions that you may have for us. If you have questions, again, the question and answer or the Q&A feature is live. You would type your answer or your question there and one of the staff will answer that question or we will tell you that we're going to answer it live. So at this time, I'm going to turn everything over to Ms. Brothers and the staff at Buholtz. Good evening, my name is Michelle Brothers and I'm the director of the Academy of Finance at Buholtz High School. I would like to welcome you to the Academy of Finance Open House. This is my 14th year as the Academy of Finance Director and the first year having a virtual open house. So I thought we would make this evening fun and informative. At the end of our time together, I hope you say, wow, this is the program for me. As a Director of the Academy of Finance for the past 14 years, I have been able to take my students on lots of fun trips. So tonight, we're going to jump on the Buholtz Bobcat bus and travel to some of these places. Let's start in Anaheim, California. I've taken students for FBLA Nationals to Anaheim two times now. When in Anaheim, the students had lots of fun going to Hollywood and to see the Pacific Ocean at Santa Monica Pier. By the way, FBLA stands for Future Business Leaders of America. It is the Academy of Finance co-curricular activity and organization. Students learn a lot about business skills, compete in district, state, and nationals, and have lots of leadership opportunities. As we venture to San Antonio, Texas, let's check in with Mr. Timbick, the principal of Beals High School, and Mrs. Chance, the assistant principal. Good evening, I'm Jim Timbick, the principal of Buholtz High School. Thank you for joining us this evening for the Academy of Finance Open House. I believe you will find the Academy of Finance as one with a purpose. No matter your career choice, the Academy of Finance is for you. You will gain financial knowledge that will help you personally and professionally for the remainder of your life. This is the one career academy that doesn't ask you to choose as an eighth grader what career you want to pursue. Instead, you gain life skills as well as experiences and opportunity to see if you want a career in the financial world, for example, as an accountant, a financial planner, a business executive, such as the chief financial officer. Buholtz High School is a school of excellence. You will not be disappointed if you decide to join us here at Buholtz for the Academy of Finance. Now I'm going to send you to Mrs. Chance, our assistant principal for curriculum. Before we do that, I want to again thank you for joining us this evening and taking time out of your busy schedules, uh, and I hope you enjoy your visit. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Diana Chance, and I'm the Buholtz assistant principal of curriculum. I'm going to take a moment to fill you in on some of the academic and extracurricular programs Buholtz has to offer outside of the academy. While students in the academy do take one academy class every year, they still have five other classes on their schedules. 
And this is where Buholtz has options like no other school. Students in the academy are able to pursue the prestigious capstone diploma, a program that is valued in colleges across the United States. They are also able to become academic scholars by participating in many of our 28 AP courses and 45 honors courses. They're able to dual enroll at Santa Fe College during their junior and or senior year, getting college credit for free while at the same time completing their academy program. What's most important is that students challenge themselves at an appropriate level. As incoming ninth graders, your student may choose to jump right into the challenging AP curriculum, taking AP World History, AP Environmental Science, or pre-AP English. Or they may just want to tip their toe in the water by taking honors level classes. Certainly, we encourage students to mix it up. We also work to have a wide variety of electives for students to choose from. Students can participate in foreign language classes, both Spanish and German. They can join a cooking program where they can earn serve safe certification. And they can choose from a wide variety of arts classes, including ceramics, drawing, painting, creative photo, AP photo, and even AP 2D art. We offer drafting courses, levels one through four, one of our most popular tracks. We offer digital multimedia and AP computer principles, where students can learn to design and about crowdsourcing and computing bias. Students who love sports may want to join our personal fitness and team sports class. They may participate in weight training or basketball. And of course, we have our award-winning band and choral programs, in addition to offering piano and guitar courses. All of these classes are available to Academy students, and it really is up to them to determine the path that they'll follow. This year, we have about 2,300 students here at Buholtz, and every single student gets an individualized plan. They work with their school counselors to come up with a cadre of classes that best suits them. And it works. Every year, Buholtz has students going off to Duke, Stanford, Cornell, John Hopkins, Princeton, and of course, UF, FSU, Georgia, and all of those other schools around our area that we're more familiar with. Finally, we encourage students to be as engaged as possible. While high school is an added level of responsibility, it should be fun. And we want students to join clubs, play sports, and support their peers by attending sporting events, to attend dances, and organize and participate in philanthropic opportunities, and to make friendships that will last a lifetime. Joining an academy is a great stepping stone for these other activities, especially for freshmen, as it gives them a built-in place to hang out in the mornings and is centered around group activities. I hope I've been able to answer some of your questions about the academics and extracurricular activities at Buholtz. If you have any questions that don't get answered this evening, please feel free to reach out through email or by calling the Buholtz front desk. Now I'll send you back to Ms. Brothers to continue your travels with the Academy of Finance. In San Antonio, students did a great job in their competitions, networked with students from across the United States and even students from China. Of course, we didn't stay in the hotel. We went to SeaWorld San Antonio and walked along the Riverwalk several times. FBLA is just part of the Academy of Finance. The meat of the program is the classes that you take. There's a required class for each of your four years of high school. As we head to Chicago, let me have some students tell you about the Academy of Finance classes. I am pleased to introduce you to Ian Mulroney. Thanks, Ms. Brothers. I am a senior in the Academy of Finance, and I'm here to talk to you about the ninth grade class called Personal Financial Planning. This class was a lot of fun, but also gave me life skills that will benefit me for years to come. In this class, you will go through the Dave Ramsey Financial Peace University curriculum and learn how to write checks and reconcile your checking account. You'll also learn about paychecks and how to file tax returns. Working with the United Way and the VITA program, you will file taxes for community members. Not only is this good for experience and knowledge for when you have to file taxes, but you can also earn volunteer service hours while you do it. Another part of this class is a stock market simulation game. You learn about stocks and bonds and how to buy, trade, and sell. You participate in a competition, which makes it a lot of fun. I'm going to turn this over to Jason, who's gonna tell you about the sophomore class. Thanks, Ian. I'm also a senior in the Academy of Finance, a football player, wrestler, and active participator in Future Business League of America. In the sophomore class called Finance and Business Technology, 
you can get three college credits for college computing. You earn certification through CertiPort in Microsoft Office, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Most colleges require a college computing class, so it's good to earn those college credits free as a 10th grader. One of the choices for your junior year is economic and financial services. In this class, you learn about economic services, business types, banking and finance, and cybersecurity. This class operates the Bobcat branch during the lunch periods. This is a great experience that only Academy of Finance students get. Learning about the job responsibilities of a bank teller, an auditor, and member service representatives or marketers was a lot of fun and unique high school experience. I'm going to pass this over to V, a fellow wrestler, to talk about other 11th grade class options, AP Micro and Macroeconomics. Thanks, Jason. The Academy of Finance is the only career and technical program that has AP classes as part of its curriculum. All students have to have a half credit in economics to graduate. Taking this class as a junior frees up a semester during your senior year. Students can earn six college credits if they pass both AP exams. This class is a, is a choice for students. Students learn about basic economic concepts, the, na the nature and function of product market, different market structures, factor markets, and the role of government. In macroeconomics, students learn about unemployment, GDP, CPI, interest rates, monetary and fiscal policy, as well as exchange rates and trade. There are definitely not easy classes, but they are very rewarding. As Ms. Brothers tells us, the College Board does not gift RAP college credits, but you have, you have to earn them. Ian is going to jump back in here and tell you about the senior class. Thanks, V. The senior class is accounting applications and the class I am taking now. In this class, students will learn the language of the trade, read and prepare financial statements, inventory control, financial ratios and analysis, and other topics that would be included in Financial Accounting 1. Students get certified in QuickBooks Online, a web-based bookkeeping program, and earn three college credits with Santa Fe Community College in Financial Accounting 1. Academy of Finance graduates have praised this class for giving them the knowledge they need to complete the accounting class at UF that is required of all business majors and is considered to weed out the class. 700 students take the class and only 250 pass. Students also know after this class if a career in accounting is for them. Chicago was a great trip. We took a tour of Chicago, including the University of Chicago, and ate some of the best pizza and hot dogs. Did I tell you yet that the students have a chance to win money at states and nationals? It was really exciting when my student won $1,500. Hey, let's check in with Mr. Bell as we head to Baltimore, Maryland. Hey everybody out there, just wanted to say thank you for joining us at the Academy of Finance for our virtual open house this year and wanted to introduce myself. I'm Mr. Bell and I've worked in the Academy of Finance since 2018 with Ms. Brothers. Um, in the Academy of Finance, I generally work with ninth grade and 10th grade students the most. Um, some of my favorite things about the Academy of Finance are helping students get certified through the IRS and volunteering with the United Way to help members of our community who are less fortunate get their taxes done for free. And uh, I also really enjoy helping students get their Microsoft Office certifications because that means three free college credits and a really, really valuable thing to put on your resume moving forward. So real quick, just want to say thank you and hope everybody has a great night. Well, let me tell you, Baltimore was hot. When we went to the Baltimore Zoo, we didn't see too many animals as they were all in their houses out of the heat. A trip to Washington, D.C. was a highlight for the group. Remember when Mr. Timbig said this is Academy with a purpose? Well, here are some life skills you can gain in the Academy of Finance. You're going to learn how to write checks and balance a checkbook. You're going to complete tax returns. You're going to gain community service hours by working with the United Way and a program to do tax returns for community members. You're going to learn about savings, loans, interest, and investing. We're going to go through the Dave Ramsey Financial Peace University program. We have what we call the Bobcat Branch, a branch of the Florida Credit Union. So you're going to get certified in Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and QuickBooks, and you're going to learn how to use financial calculators by finding the time value of money. Now let's talk about our Bobcat branch, a branch of the Florida Credit Union that we have on our campus. It is student run by the Academy of Finance students. You may have seen some of our Bobcat branch managers working at the 43rd Street branch. 
Also, many past managers are now in management positions with the Florida Credit Union. Let's drop in at the Bobcat Branch and then we're going to head to Orlando. Welcome to the Bobcat Branch. Hello. Tell me a little bit about the Bobcat Branch. Well, it's a branch run by the Florida Credit Union in Buholtz High School, and the branch here is also run by the students at the high school in the Academy of Finance. Um, I've been a teller here for two years, and we do checks and transactions, <laughs> and yeah. So I'm a Bobcat manager here, but I also work as a teller at the Florida Third Branch doing the same thing except over there. I've been a teller at the Bobcat branch for two years and I go here every morning before school and it counts as volunteer hours and as an extra class. I'm a dual enrollment student and I am still able to flexibly work at the bank here in the mornings and still do my full-time dual enrollment at Santa Fe College. Um, my name is Kayla, I'm a sophomore and this is my second year working at the Bobcat branch. I love working here. I've learned a lot. I've learned how to do checks and transactions. FBLA State is held in the spring in Orlando, Florida. As you can see in the pictures, we represent Buholtz well in our business attire and win many awards. On average, about 60 students attend State each year. Imagine being at a hotel in Orlando with a lazy river and about 4,000 plus students from across the state of Florida. Yeah, I know, no fun at all. Again, FBLA is just a part of the Academy of Finance, but a part that students gain so much by participating in. You're gonna learn leadership and business skills, compete in an individual or team event, over 70 to choose from. You're gonna go places. You're gonna network with students throughout the state and nation. And it's a great resume builder. Now, let's join or visit with Amanda and Julia and see what they have to say about FBLA. Hi, my name is Amanda Connors and I'm the president for the Buholt chapter of FBLA. As you can guess, FBLA teaches students about leadership, community service, and working as a team. We have several activities and travel opportunities with FBLA. The Florida FBLA offers a fall leadership conference where students learn about working as a team and developing their leadership style. The spring state leadership conference later in the year allows students to compete in different business related events. You can attend state if you qualify, which means that you have already placed in districts. If you qualify at state, you can then attend nationals, which is held in really fun places each year. Miss Brothers has attended nationals with students in Nashville, Chicago, San Antonio, Atlanta, and Baltimore. Jake, her son, was able to go to Disney World and Disneyland both before he was even three years old. Hey, Amanda. I have to jump in here to tell the students and parents how much fun it is to travel with Miss Brothers and the other Academy of Finance students. Hi, my name is Julia Higginbotham, and I'm the Buholtz Chapter Vice President. I have attended the Fall Leadership Conference and have to say it was so much fun because I stayed in a two bedroom suite with seven other girls. These trips are great for bonding and for forming friendships. The Academy of Finance is a special place to bond and form friendships as well. Buholtz High School is a very big and it can be intimidating to incoming freshmen. But in the Academy of Finance, students find a home away from home. Sometimes you're here with the same students for all four years. We do a lot of projects where you work together and it really helps you to develop soft skills like communicating and presenting yourself to others. Mr. Bell and Miss Brothers both help you to develop to your greatest potential. Miss Brothers will provide leadership opportunities to any students interested. Here are some other pictures from our FBLA travels. Nine years ago, we started an FBLA potluck dinner. It's a lot of family fun and the food is amazing. The Academy of Finance students can gain recognition in National Technical Honor Society. Students earn a cord for graduation and can earn scholarships as well. Where do the Academy of Finance graduates go to college? Well, as you can see, this list is pretty impressive. Colleges know that Academy of Finance graduates are well-rounded 
Well, one more stop on our journey to places the Academy of Finance students have traveled with me. That would be New York City. This is the senior trip for the Academy of Finance. What a great way to end your four years. We have a whirlwind trip to New York City with a sporting event, Broadway show, tour of the city, including a trip to the top of the Empire State Building and the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty. Of course, we go to Times Square and actually stay on or close to Times Square. There's so much more to this trip. We do also go to the 9-11 Museum Memorial. Well, as we come to the end of our journey, let me tell you about the family feeling you will get at the Academy of Finance. At a big school like Buholtz, it's great knowing that you have a place to come if you get to school earlier or that you have something in common with other students that are sometimes in your Academy of Finance classes with you for four years. You have a teacher to advocate for you when needed. Students even call me Mama B. There has to be something special about this program as we get lots of students whose older brother or sister graduated from the Academy of Finance. Let me send you over to Chris Baldwin, a graduate of the Academy of Finance for his insight into the Academy of Finance program. Hello, my name is uh, Chris Baldwin. Uh, I am the CFO of the Intermed Group, a biotech company up in Alachua. Uh, also, I've had the privilege for the last couple of decades to uh, be on the advisory board for the Academy of Finance. Uh, and I think most important uh, to me at times is uh, a former graduate of the Academy of Finance as well. And uh, being the second graduating class back in the 90s, uh, I, can, I can say from firsthand experience, the, the knowledge and the experience uh, developed and, and kind of set that foundation in the Academy of Finance is really unparalleled uh, to, to really any experience you can get in high school. Uh, and it's, it's very unique in the point of, you know, the Academy of Finance is not developing uh, CFOs really right out of high school, right? But they're really setting a foundation for a lot of the tools uh, and knowledge that we need on a daily basis to kind of function in our lives. Uh, and I think that's one of the most unique things uh, in the broad breadth of knowledge the Academy of Finance gives. You know, and, and one of the one of the fun things, right? You know, you'll you'll see a lot from a student's perspective how much fun and, and experience that the Academy has. And I can tell you from firsthand knowledge of the trips, the relationships, the things of that nature that you have. You know, going through your experience in high school it, it is unlike anything else. So, you know, remember, have fun, enjoy it. Uh, it it uh, it's one of the many many aspects of being able to get a good, well-rounded well education and knowing uh, some of the relationships you'll build. But, you know, as I've kind of gotten older, you know, I'll speak now from a parent's perspective. I have a, a middle schooler who, you know, I'll be sitting in the exact same position as you all are as parents, you know, trying to decide what, uh, what's best for your student moving forward. And, you know, I know, you know, personally, we all kind of have challenges and, you know, I don't want my middle schooler really deciding what his long-term future is you know, right now. So, you know, me as a parent, I want him to make sure that he has a good, well-rounded foundation and, and knowledge and experience going through high school. And I think that's one of the most, you know, amazing parts that, uh, that the Academy of Finance will bring. You know, we all get a little nervous sometimes when we start talking about finance and, you know, I don't want to have, I don't want to have my son just know that he's going to go in finance. But I think one of the most unique parts about this program is, you know, the knowledge and breadth of things that we use on a daily basis. Right. I mean, we may not all do our own taxes, but, you know, the knowledge and understanding of how taxes work uh, is something that your student will get in this program. Uh, the knowledge on how the financial systems work and stocks and things of that nature. You know, they need, they need to know these things uh, and have a good foundation so that they can make the right decisions as they grow older and decide what they want to do. Uh, you know, and all of these things really play in, you know, as I've seen over the last couple of decades, the students graduating. You know, not all of them go into finance, right? I think what this program does is bring a lot of different uh, abilities uh, for whatever your child decides to do. You know, there's entrepreneurs, there's doctors, there's, you know, stay-at-home moms now probably more so than ever, uh, uh, maybe some homeschool moms, uh, you know, that have uh, been able to utilize the tools and the foundations given from this program. And uh, just, you know, want to just kind of reassure everyone from that standpoint, you're not making a bad decision. This is uh, something that will provide your student an amazing foundation, uh, the training, the, the relationships, the teachers that are involved in this are second to none. I can say that firsthand. 
Uh, and just uh, want to thank you all for listening. Hope uh, good luck in your decisions uh, and be blessed. Thank you. Hi everyone. My name is Layla Ashley and I graduated last year. So I want to give a warm welcome to any parents, incoming students, and everybody in between. Finance and the Academy of Finance is something that I will never regret, ever, ever. Let that settle in for you, ever. Because not only did it have the curriculum to set me up for immense success, students that were there tight-knit all the time and the longer we're together, the closer we grow, there's also the most supportive teachers I've ever seen. You know, no matter what path you choose to take in finance, you're set up for success. No matter what you do, no matter what group you go with, no matter what classes you take, no matter what order you take your classes in, you're set up for complete success. And I can tell you, going into college, I was scared. Same way you all feel right now is how you feel going into college. It doesn't change. But finance not only set me up to be professional so I could present myself properly to all of my employers and my new professors and any meetings I have, but it also gave me core classes for the things that I need to do. I'm going into a business major right now, which for anyone who's curious, I know this is a big question I always got. If I don't want to do business or finance, why should I go into finance? I'm gonna be a zookeeper. Yeah, I'm gonna be a zookeeper and my best friends, ER doctor and a nurse, but we all took finance together and the classes we took in finance helped us build up our college credits. So I know it's a big thing to think about right now, but just keep that in the back of your head. I really hope that you keep finance in mind because it's something that everybody should know. It's something that everybody, and I wish everybody could take. So keep that in mind. And I hope you all have an amazing time and I wish you so much luck and your success in high school. If you want a program where you can learn valuable life skills, make long lasting friendships and relationships, and know you have two teachers who are going to help you be successful and be there when you achieve your goals, then come to the Academy of Finance. The Academy of Finance and travel with me. So now that you have heard all about the Academy of Finance, we are going to walk through the application process and what that looks like um, for you. So give me one second, I'm gonna share my screen. All right. So hopefully that is now all showing for you. We are gonna go through, um, like I said, the process for application. So um, the first thing I want you to know is where to find the information. And this is extremely important as some of the dates are still being determined. So that's not on that website yet, but you will need to know how to get to that. So there's a couple of ways you can get there. Um, when you go to the school board of Alachua County website, you will see um, a couple of things. One is the department listing, and you can go to the department listing to the Office of Student Assignment and get there that way. But a simpler way is to come to either the Students or Families tab at the top of the website. And when you click on the heading, you'll see a magnet open house link. When you click on that link, it takes you directly to the Magnet website where all of our district information for Magnet programs are being held. So on this, you will see all of the programs listed down the far right side. So you can click on any of these. They are live links to the program websites. In the middle column, you'll see the information about the open houses. And then the Magnet application and acceptance acceptance tentative timeline. And unfortunately that timeline is still tentative. We do not have those dates. Um, the system is being updated just a bit and it is taking a little bit longer than we had hoped. So this is where those dates will be advertised once they are final. And we'll talk a little bit later about hopeful timelines for that. 
And then underneath the timeline is where the application submission area will be. And this is where the link to actually do your application will be. So it's on this website under the application submission. So once it goes live, that link will be right there. In the far right-hand column, there's an email address um, that you can use for asking us some questions. And then there's also the links to the programs, the live coming up programs, and then the YouTube channel links are there for you. And down below that, there are links for the program coordinators and directors, so you can get their contact information. And then there's the program requirements link. The um, presentation I'm going through with you right now will also be linked here. So the high school program requirements, when you click on that, it takes you to the page that tells you what are the minimum requirements, what is being looked at for application. So to get to that, again, you just click on the requirements link and you scroll down to the program that you're interested in and it will show you what grade levels we are accepting applications for. So in this particular Academy of Finance, we're accepting applications for ninth, 10th and 11th grades. It will tell you that you have a minimum GPA of a 2.5 to apply and to qualify for the lottery selection, which we'll talk about in a moment. There is not an FSA requirement for our career and technical education programs. You may have no more than 10 unexcused absences and no major referrals or more than four out of school suspension days. So that um, is there for all of the programs that you may be interested in. So again, this page is extremely important because it will give you the timelines, the links to the program websites, minimum requirements. And again, that is where the application link will be when it goes live. A part of this presentation too has those links just like they are on the website. So you can come through this presentation and click on the live links to get to any of the programs. And then um, the process to apply is um, one application. So you don't have to do a different application for every program you're interested in. You would do one application and rank those programs. We'll talk about what that means in a little bit. There's a common timeline, which means it's gonna open for everybody at the same time. It's gonna close for everybody at the same time. And then the centralized process and that process is handled through my office. Um, there is a 75% school selection and a 25% lottery selection. So let's talk about that for just a moment. Schools can select from all on-time applicants that apply. They will see and review all of the on-time applications. From those on-time applications, they will be able to select 75% of the students to fill the seats in their program for the incoming year. 25% of those seats are filled through a lottery selection. And that lottery selection is based solely on the minimum requirements and having that application in on time. So again, it's 75% by the school, 25% by the lottery, but schools can select from and will review all applicants. So even if you have a 2.3 GPA, the school may still select you. You would not be eligible for lottery selection with a 2.3 GPA, but the school could do that selection. Again, you can apply for all of the programs you're interested in in that one application. You may choose up to four for high school applications. And that could be a combination of academic or C and or CTE programs. So you may want to apply to either the IB or the Cambridge program, but then also the Academy of Finance and other CTE programs. That's all within the one application. When you get your acceptance or informational notification emails, you will hear about all programs that you applied for. You may hear that you were offered a seat in one and waitlisted for another and waitlist inactive for another, which means you were accepted to higher programs, therefore a lower program, it made you inactive because you were already accepted to a higher choice. We'll talk about rankings in a few minutes. Also remember that you can only select one program unless it's at schools that offer um, coexisting programs like Cambridge with Health or future teachers or IB with culinary. Those are the ones that you could select more than one. If you're applying from out of district, from a private school, from a home school situation, we do require that you upload information into your application to let us know your qualifications. If you have questions about that, well, I'll give you an, that email address and a phone number that you can call and we can talk through that as you get ready to do the application process. 
a, for the high school, there is an additional component and that would be a short answer response. It's limited to approximately 300 words. We don't need you to write a book, but we do want you to put enough in there so that our program directors get to know a little bit about you as they review your application. The prompt that we're going to ask you to do the response for is to describe in detail something that you are passionate about or something that motivates you. Again, this is how the program directors get to know you beyond your GPA attendance and discipline. This is what they're gonna read and go, oh wow, this person's really interested in finance. They really wanna know about taxes or whatever it may be. So this is where they get to hear about you and what you're passionate about and what motivates you and what why you're applying for their program. So I would suggest and, and recommend that you spend time on that and not just try to throw it together in the middle of the application. So really think about that. And as you rank your program choices, you may want to consider that as you write your response. Program ranking again is extremely important. The lottery does run in order of preference, meaning your first choice runs first, then your second choice, then your third choice. Imagine as we run through all four options for every student, the seats start to get filled. So by the time we get to the third and fourth choices, the chances of getting a lottery selected seat are slimmer and slimmer because the seats get filled as we go. Also remember, if you're selected for a lower ranked choice, maybe your second choice program, you would still run in the lottery and could be accepted or placed on the waiting list for your higher ranked program or your first choice. You would not run in your third and fourth choice in that example because you got selected for a higher choice program. So again, make sure all of your program rankings are in order with your first selection being your top ranked choice, second selection being your second option, and so on prior to the close of the application deadline. Once the application deadline closes, you cannot make any changes to that. Neither can our department. You can't call us and ask us to make that change either. You would be locked into that ranking selection that you had when the application closed. If you applied last year, maybe you got waitlisted and unfortunately a seat did not become available to you, you would need to reapply. These are annual applications. They do not roll over from year to year and that waitlist expired per our district policy 15 days into the school year. The acceptance or application timeline again will be posted on that website once it is finalized. That opening date will be announced on that website it will close four weeks after opening. We don't want you to feel like it's gonna be a rushed process. You will have time to get that application in. So although it's opening later than we'd hoped, you will still have a full four weeks to do your application. So we're gonna adjust our timelines to meet that and ensure that you have that time. Our email notification goal is going to be mid-April. However, as it gets delayed, unfortunately that may also get delayed but our goal is really gonna be for that mid-April timeline. And then keep in mind, once that email notification goes out, if you do get a waitlisted notification, don't get frustrated, don't get discouraged. That rolling admission will be happening all summer. And what that means is throughout the summer and the first 15 days of the school year, as seats become open, we make seat offerings. So maybe a student accepted a seat on their second choice and then a seat became open in their first choice. They accepted that seat. It opens a choice in that second choice program that they had. And we will offer that seat working down our waiting list. So again, don't get discouraged. Rolling admissions will happen throughout the summer and through the first 15 days of school. Another important date that I want you to know and understand is June 30th. If you have accepted that seat in the example I keep going back to this evening in that second rank choice and you're still on a waiting list for your first rank choice. If you are still on that waiting list through June 30th and July 1st comes, you are locked into that second selected choice that you've accepted that seat in and no changes would be made. So therefore that waiting list piece would not be offered after July 1 for a first rank choice because you are already in a seat. So that means no changes in programs after June 30th. We will, however, continue to fill seats from the waiting list of students who have not already accepted a seat. Students not accepted, like I said, will remain on those waiting lists. It goes through the first 15 days of school. 
That application deadline, once it is posted and announced, is an extremely important deadline because late application entries may not even get processed if they are received after that deadline. If we have seats available after all on-time applications have been processed and placed, then we will process late applicants. So we fill all of our waiting, you know, we process everybody, we get all the waiting lists filled. Then if there's openings, we go to the late applications. Again, that deadline of application is extremely important. I can tell you there are very few programs that we were able to fill late applicants from last school year. Again, seats will be offered from those waiting lists and parents or students, you must accept or decline by the deadline on the emailed seat offer or that offer will be marked as rescinded and that seat will be offered to the next student on the waiting list. Once that gets rescinded, we cannot just re-offer that space it, we, because we've already offered it to another student. That seat is gone at that point. So make sure you meet all of the deadlines um, that you will be receiving. Transportation is offered for all of our magnet programs. Um, they're typically at satellite stops, often located at the student zoned elementary or middle schools. Those stops are arranged throughout the summer and the transportation department works on those after they know what students will be joining and, and where the students will be coming from. So the transportation department can answer any of those questions. Another important thing I just want to address quickly is the rest of the eighth grade school year or whatever grade you are in still matters, even if you've been offered and accepted a seat because all of those minimum eligibility requirements remain in place. So you need to keep that GPA up. You still need to go to school. You still need to keep your discipline and behavior in check because if you fall below those minimum requirements after being accepted, your seat could be revoked and offered to someone else. So the rest of this school year, even after acceptance still matters. I wanna make sure you understand that students who are listening. Also, once you are in a program, there are minimum requirements that you need to maintain in order to stay in that program. If you have questions, you want more information if, about the application process, you would email us at Alachua Magnets, or there's also the phone number there for you to call. That's where you can get information about application. If you have questions about school specific program questions, we're gonna refer you to the school. Our department will not tell you which program your child should apply to. We won't compare programs for you. That's for you to do through open houses, through contacting schools. So if you have school or program specific questions, we do ask that you contact the program director or the school directly for that. Again, our office will answer application questions. Again, keep an eye on that website for all of the information related to application timelines. The application um, link again will be on that website. So at this time, I think we have concluded all of our presentations. We hope that you have learned about the Academy of Finance. You know about the application process. Now it's just a matter of waiting for that application to open and deciding on what programs you would like to apply to. Remember, you can apply to up to four. So make sure that you think about those. Make sure you know which programs you choose to apply. So with that, we're going to sign off and say good night. Thank you so much to the Buholt staff for sharing about the Academy of Finance. We wish you all the best in your application and acceptance for any of our programs.